Hey guys! Sometimes when we are web scraping, we run into cases where our requests fail. There are a lot of reasons why this might happen. Errors can happen on both the client side and the server side of the request. In today's video, we will look at how to configure the Python requests library to retry failed requests so you can build a more reliable system. We will look at retrying failed requests using sessions and HTTP adapter, and we will build a retry logic wrapper. All right, let's get started. If you're okay with using Python sessions, then you can define the retry logic using an HTTP adapter. In this example, we import HTTP adapter, and we also import retry from URL lib 3s retry utility. After we initialize a session, we create a retry strategy and configure how many retries it should make and for which status codes it should retry. Then we add this retry strategy to an HTTP adapter and mount it to the session. We can also define a backoff strategy using the backoff factor attribute. Here is the backoff algorithm. And here are some example sleep sequences. Using the backoff factor, we can configure our script to exponentially increase the timeout between each entry. Next, we will build a retry logic wrapper. Another method of retrying failed requests with Python requests is to build your own retry logic around the request function. We will build a loop and specify how many times we want to retry the request. Inside the loop, we attempt to send our request and then exit the loop on success or if the page isn't found. We can check if we were successful and write some code to continue working with the response data. The advantage of this approach is that you have a lot of control over what is a failed response. Also notice in this example that we are only looking at the response code to see if we should retry the request. Let's adapt this so that we also check to make sure the HTML response is valid. We will add an additional check to make sure the HTML response doesn't contain a ban page. We could also wrap this logic into our own request retry function if we like. So that's how you configure Python requests to automatically retry failed requests. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out the ScrapeOps YouTube channel, and if you would like to learn more about web scraping, then be sure to check out the Python Web Scraping Playbook at scrapeops.io.